Today we're going to perform a crash test with the moose dummy. Using high-speed cameras running at 500 frames per second, they hope to replicate and capture every detail of a real moose crash. Their goal is to better understand how injuries occur in these collisions. What we have seen in Sweden is the increase from the number of accidents with moose. Last year we had about 7,000 moose accidents. Every year in Sweden, between 10 and 12 of these accidents prove fatal. This moose dummy weighs in at 360 kilograms, the size of an average moose in southern Sweden. We're trying to find out if it's possible to survive a crash at 70 kilometers per hour. Finally, after hours of painstaking preparation, the experiment is nearly ready to begin. With high-speed cameras rolling, a test car is catapulted toward a moose dummy. To the naked eye, the crash is over in an instant. But in ultra-slow motion, the destructive forces at work in a moose accident are seen in frightening detail. We see from here, the airbags are still intact. And the pre-tensioner for the bolt hasn't deployed either, which is typical in a moose crash. Maybe we could design better cars. If we look at the car, probably strengthening the roof in the front edge here will help to survive a crash like this. A lot of research is needed to be done around the wildlife and traffic interaction. As we see from this, this could be a fatal accident. Over a series of tests, VTI found that improvements in the strength of a car's roof and windshield could potentially make the difference between life and death. But they've also found that the single most important factor lies within the driver's control, speed. The best thing to do to avoid a moose accident is to reduce the speed when you're traveling through moose territories. 